Remember that IG model, Gina2, that revealed she had AIDS or HIV? She's relevant because she has been linked to a few celebrities who seem to be sick as well. But being that she admitted to being infected, we now need to know who gave you the virus or where did you get it from? So I get this question a lot. I do not know who gave it to me or where I got it, how I got it. All I know is that because I was so sick at the point of death that they said I had to have had it for eight to 10 years. A commenter mentioned that a pap smear would have revealed that you were infected. Why didn't you get tested in eight to 10 years? In that time frame, I was living in New York City and I was homeless. Um, I did get raped a couple times, not something I like to talk about. I have had a couple free tattoos, so it could have been a dirty needle. I don't know. Do I know those people? No. Did I say anything when those things happened? No, because I was naive and I was stupid and I was young. And that's all I can really say about this question. Well, that sucks. Did your exes tell you to hang it up after you told them? Well, when I had to reach out to my exes, they didn't even tell me that I needed to, but I just felt it was necessary. And I don't have that many exes, believe it or not. So it wasn't very hard for me to let them know. Uh, they were very understanding and they more felt bad for me than anything because they're actually okay. It's crazy you think you didn't have to tell them you was infected, but show us how your legs are currently doing. How about your eye? I went to the doctor the other day and he said that I need to wait a month for progress. So they put a gas bubble in my eye, so that's what's making it completely blind. Like, completely. Um, but I gotta wait a month to see some progress. And it's really scary. Really scary. But Now let me say this to y'all. Gina 2 has a beautiful personality. And I think I will fall in love with how kind she appears. Stand to the end so you can see a couple of clips of how cool of a person she seems to be. However, I think Gina too is extremely irresponsible. I've scoured her TikTok account and she is making her disease seem as if it's an amazing hurdle that can catapult one into a world of attention. Happy 500k to me. Happy 500k to us. Guys, it would not have been freaking possible without you guys. Thank you so much for us reaching over 500,000 followers on TikTok. It means the world to me. Without your support and your love and your comments and your prayers and shares, this would not be possible. She rarely ever takes responsibility for possibly getting herself affected. You seem so hungry for attention that you may be faking all of this. And my apologies if you aren't, but you are still really reckless, miss. And no, I'm not judging you, just identifying you. You caught a disease because you was indeed reckless. And young girls will look up to you. So whatever you was doing... I you should at the very least speak out against it. AIDS and HIV are no joke. Some of y'all was scared of the COVID, but y'all out here sleeping with strangers skin to skin, you nasty bastards. I would tell no lies. Raw sex is amazing, but that's when you're married and both you and she are being respectful to one another. Other than that, her juices can cause your meat to fall off. And whatever jungle he had his meat marinated in, the parasites will be stuck inside of you. So let's do better, y'all, and hit that like button. Juicy out. PSA. It does not matter how pretty you are. It doesn't matter how much money you got in the bank. It does not matter your celebrity status. Anyone can get this disease. Anybody can have AIDS. It does not discriminate. I might be skinny, I know, but I'm still cute. Can we please stop body shaming people? Some of us are naturally skinny. Me, of course, yes, I got skinny. Er, when I got sick. But guys, I'm over 90 pounds now, which is normally my normal weight. I'm like 95 to 98 normally. Genetics. <laughs> my brother's really, really small. If you follow me, you've seen him. We're like the same size. It's really genetics. Some, for some of you, you think it looks sick, but to a lot of us, it's just natural. 
I can get it. But let's please stop body shaming. I love you guys. I just wanted to update you guys. That's all. Have a great day.